my name's Peter Hunt and I'm the fashion director of You and Your Wedding magazine and I'm here at Mark Namurko's fabulous Valentine's event at Brown's Bride. Who would be your dream Valentine's date? Well, everybody knows I've got a thing for Sally at Cosmo Bride, the fashion director. I hate you for that. Yeah, but well, you'd be a second, a close second. Obviously. Oh, thanks very much. How would you really like to spend your Valentine's Day? Um, I'd probably start off, you know, with a little glass of champagne at the Champagne Bar at St Pancras, pop on first class to the Eurostar and hang out in the Royal Suite at the Plaza Athene. My ideal way is uh, to spend it in my business making lots of beautiful hard cookies and biscuits and cupcakes. Being surprised and taken to dinner at the River Cafe and um, being proposed to there, which is exactly what happened to me. My idea of the most romantic date, in all depends on which way you put it, you know, the surprise element on Valentine's Day, or you know, is it the classic red roses, or is it coming home in the bath and filled with floating candles and petals everywhere, the bedroom is full of petals and candles, or... God, you've got hundreds of ideas. <laughs> so who would be your dream date? <laughs> I'm a happily married man, so I have to be careful. Okay. <laughs> Two years ago, I was in Byron Bay and my boyfriend proposed. So I'd actually love to go back to Byron Bay. It'd be nice if the sun was out, the beach, Byron Bay, that would be kind of perfect. I'd quite like to be uh, whisked away on the Eurostar to Paris and taken to Hotel Costas. Okay, now surprisingly, I spoke to Mark earlier and you're Romantic dates are very similar. He wanted to whisk you away to okay, Paris. Okay. Good. <laughs> so good. perhaps you could join us. On the same sheet. Excellent. <laughs> the next thing. What do you think? What do you think is a new trend for 2011? Do you think the royals are going to have much impact on it or not? Maybe that will kind of filter through later in the year. I think. I think the whole uh, black swan ballet thing. It's still going to be quite big for summer, big kind of ballerina style. Why did you pick Brown's Bride for your event this evening? Well, Brown's Bride and Numerco are of a similar age. We're both around six years and we've worked very closely together. We've made some amazing dreams come true, from taking whisking one bride off to Paris Fashion Week to having dresses delivered to a bride's uh, hotel suite even. So Brown's have always been there for those special moments for Numerco Brides. So um, it made sense to come here this evening and bring everyone here. And they do have such a fantastic selection, don't they? Have they have a huge selection. Of course, they have some of my favourites from obviously Oscar. Everyone knows I'm slightly obsessed with everything to do with Mr. De Laurenta. Also, Peter Langer, who's cut and uh, is absolutely exquisite. He's everywhere at the moment. Every celeb seems to love yeah, him. Peter is really cool. And you also have other big names, of course, now like Vera Wang. What I like about Mark is that he works very much with us and it's really not so much about the dresses because actually we have so many really beautiful, beautiful, stunning dresses. Mm. The, the art and the key and the most important thing is actually to find the dress that matches the girl. You've done a fantastic urn full of roses out there. Is this a way forward for you? Are you doing a lot more of those this year, do you think? Well, I think one of my trademarks is, you know, that I, I love the beauty of one single flower. You know, a flower should speak for itself. What's a trend for you for 2011? What do you think brides are really looking for? Do you think the royals are going to have a big impact on that or not? For sure. I think the royals will have a, certainly have a big impact on, uh, on wedding trends, perhaps later in next year, because obviously people plan quite far in advance, sometimes a year in advance. So I would imagine that we see lots of church ceremonies becoming more popular. And whoever she wears, I would imagine she's going to be quite English Rose-esque, lots yeah. of lace. Yeah. So I would imagine we'll see her dress being copied, not just all over the UK, but all over the world. Other trends for me would be gold. Yeah. I'm a big fan of gold. Yeah. But, you know, lovely blush pinks with gold, I think, work really, really well. Cake-wise and uh, trend-wise, I'm, I think that the Royal Wedding will definitely have a major impact. I think now we're thinking very much down the regal uh, line, very classic and traditional, but also at the same time very elegant. What sort of trend do you think, food-wise, is coming along? I think along? feasts. I think because of the Royal Wedding, but also because of the nature of eating in this country, yeah. I think people want communal feelings. They want to yeah. be more relaxed. I think they want quality, but they want a sense of... Uh, been together, mm -hmm. I think because of the economic climate, yep. people want to be warm and feel good about yep. each other. So I, 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 all of, a lot of the things we're doing are based around communal eating. I believe in the uniqueness of a wedding dress and I believe that a girl who's just going to follow a trend 
is going to make a big mistake on her wedding day. Key trends, well, as you know, I am obsessed with Black Swan. I've just absolutely adored the film and the whole kind of balletic kind of trend is just huge. We love the kind of big tulle skirts and the ballerina buns and it's just such a pretty look and I think that is going to be huge for brides this year. What's it like working with Mark? He's the best. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's exciting. It's fun. And uh, you never know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Working with Mark is always an adventure. It's always very exciting. He's a very flamboyant character and he definitely brings that into his weddings. Never a dull moment. <laughs>